Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, our uh, first lab in uh, uh, Microsoft Office Word 2013. Uh, to get started with this lab, I need you to you uh, to open uh, Word 2013 or Word 2010. Basically, uh, they are very similar, but we are using Office 2013. If you have it, that would be much better. If you don't have 2013, you can use 2010. And I showed you before how to have access uh, to the software. So uh, to get started with this lab you will need to uh, open the word application you can open it from the metro view if you are using windows 8 or you can uh, click on start and then type word if you are using windows 7 or you can click on start and type w o r d and then uh, use the name of the application uh, here is uh, what i need you to do for uh, the first lab uh, once you open the application, you already know the big main interface here. Uh, we cover that in the lecture. So I need you to create a blank document. Once you open a blank document, uh, please go ahead and uh, type your name. Uh, first name and last name. And then I need you to uh, start typing your uh, email address, which is uh, your, uh, let's say, xyz at... Uh, email.vccs.edu right? and then press enter okay. did you see what happened when I pressed enter my email it changed to hyperlink right? now to, to remove the hyperlink you right click on the email and then it choose remove hyperlink right? that's what I need you to do now I will click at the end of my email and then I will go to the home tab uh, remember home tab and then go to the paragraph group, click on the bottom border. And then I need you to uh, change look when I click at the beginning of this text. Click and keep holding my left click and drag and this will select these two lines. I need to center so I will go to the home tab. In the paragraph group I have center. Okay, now I need to change the font to make it bold so since it is in the home tab and I already see it I will just click on it bold I need to change the font name so I will click on the down arrow and then I will type CAM Cambria and then press enter so that is basically what I need you to do for the first step now I will press uh, enter once so I will have a blank line now I need to insert a date so I will go to insert now under insert I have I should have something that says date and time it is under the text group I have date and time right I need you to insert the second format and make sure that you choose auto update and then click OK are we good on this one uh, let's say uh, you are trying to send uh, uh, maybe a letter to a manager so a good way to start your letter dear and then the manager's name and then colon okay you can put comma if you would like to I will put a, a, a colon and then I will press uh, enter alright now I need to add some text in here. Uh, there is a, a function that you can use in Microsoft Word that will let you add some text automatically. So if I press equals, R A N D, open close parentheses, press enter. Look what happened. So that's exactly, I will do that one more time. You must put equals first, R A N D, open close parentheses, press enter. Are we good in this one? Alright, so now I have a document with some text. I will press enter twice. Press tab like one, two, three, four, like maybe until I get to uh, inch number five. I will type yours, right? And then comma and enter. Keep pressing tab, tab, tab. Oh, go back, backspace. And then you type uh, your first name and last name. 
So now looking at my document here, what do I have? I have a, a heading section, I have a date, all right? I have uh, some, uh, I have a solution, I have the uh, text in here, and then I have the signature block. So I need you to do something. I need you to go to the home tab and make sure that you click on this icon under home tab paragraph, this icon here. This says show format, show and hide format. If you click on it, look what happened to the document. So please everyone remember, remember to do that, right? So now what do we cover? We cover show, show format, uh, we cover the letter head using the equals R A N D uh, open close parentheses and then we know how to use the bottom border we know how to use uh, let's say how to use tab right now uh, I need to save this document doesn't have a name so I need to you to save it you can uh, press ctrl s on the keyboard or you go to the backstage view and then click save or save as all of them will open save as and then save this uh, maybe inside your computer or on the cloud it's up to you any place that you prefer and then I will go here click on the location of my uh, file I need you to save it as your last name underscore first name underscore lab uh, one you don't have to put an extension the default extension is DOCX and then click on uh, save once you click on save uh, now I will go ahead and uh, scroll down look any keyboard press so for example I kept I kept pressing tab you you will see a symbol for each movement that you uh, make using your keyboard so that what how did I show that using the show format if I click on it one more time it hides it if I click it uh, click on it again it displays it so I need you to display it. Uh, now, uh, Control S to save, and then I will close my uh, program, right? And then uh, you need to submit that to Blackboard. Uh, to do that, let me here, I will uh, go ahead and uh, sign to Blackboard quickly. And once I go here, I will uh, start adding, putting your my username and password. And then once I log into Blackboard, you will need to click on the course name. I will display that in a minute. Just hold on with me. Uh, you you already know how to access the course name. And then once you access uh, the course. You need to click on uh, assignments and once you click on assignments I need you to go to learning module uh, week number six and then where is the lab this is the lab so you click on lab one and once you click on lab one you scroll down you need to scroll down until do you see here browse my computer and then you choose your uh, desktop or the location that you saved the file click on the file and then click on uh, open once you see the file name uh, you did not send it yet you need to click on submit if you don't click on submit I will not get it and then click on submit once you click on submit now that means that the file was submitted please make sure that you see a page here that says confirmation submission here which means that your file was uh, submitted you can even submit the file again you can start a new submission let's say you did a mistake and you changed your mind so i will go back to uh, assignments if you decided to submit it again you can submit it uh, many times I will uh, look at the last one I will not look at any previous submissions but I encourage you to submit it only once because uh, it, it takes a long time to go through all of these files so uh, to make it easier for me please submit only one uh, submission so if you go to lab again here 
you can uh, start here by going down here browse my computer click on the file name which is last name first name lab one and then click on open and then click on uh, submit and once you click on submit that will uh, submit uh, the file so going back here and looking at uh, what we have please everyone make sure that you watch the video located in each uh, week uh, if I go to uh, week 5 for example there are many video lectures please everyone make sure that you watch all of these video lectures because in the final exam I will ask you questions from these video lectures don't think that I'm just posting it uh, for nothing I'm just posting it for you so you can look at it as you progress also uh, there are some important video lectures here one for two-step verification and one for asking you if your email is secure also in week number six I will post uh, a quiz here and get ready for uh, completing it everyone uh, thank you and I hope you enjoy enjoy today's lab bye bye